guys and welcome back to the data analyst portfolio project series in this episode we're going to take our marketing data to the next level by enriching it with sentiment analysis using python we'll start by connecting to our sql database to fetch the customer reviews data and then we're going to perform sentiment analysis using a library in python which i'm going to show you guys how to do by the end of this video you'll know how to add valuable sentiment insights to your marketing data which will help in making more informed business decisions. If you haven't watched the previous episode or set up your practice environment, then make sure to check out the links. You'll find everything that you need to know in the description. Let's get started enriching our marketing data. Before we start to look at the Python script and the result of that, I just want to backtrack a quick second and look at this part of, uh, of the SQL statements that we worked on last time. Now there's this one table um, which has some customer reviews and we have a rating and a rating text and we did one small transformation where we did a replace on some double spaces just to clean up the text a little bit. Nothing, nothing huge going on here. So we can select this one, execute and now you know we've, we've done that. Great. If we then think about what do we actually have it, we have a text which gives a review and we have a rating. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this review text and we're going to take it through a library in Python and then use sentiment or do sentiment analysis on it. Basically analyze what does the text say and then determine if it is a positive or negative text. Because we have a rating already, we have a score, which is, you know, somewhat connected to the review text. You could, you could say that we already have you know, one way of interpreting the text by looking at the rating number and then you have the text and you, you look at those together. What we're doing today is we're just going to focus on this text and we're just going to try to determine what was written there. Was it a positive or negative? And this is something you can do if, you know, in, in different text analysis, if you don't have a score like this, you can use that to create the score or you can use it to combine it with the text and the score to see if you can get some more detailed analysis or, or different perspective on, on, on the actual insight that is, you know, combined between the rating score and the text. Um, if you haven't worked a lot in Python, this might be a little bit advanced. What we're going to do now, it's a, you know, different, uh, different language, different everything uh, compared to the SQL. But I think it's a good exercise just to show the practicality of it and, and a little bit what we are doing. So we are doing the, the transformations. We're doing those in SQL. We're going to later take that into Power BI. There's now going to be one transformation step, which we will do in Python, which is the sentiment analysis. And then everything will come back together as a data model in Power BI. We can then move on to the Python script. Um, like I mentioned, um, I'm using Visual Studio with a Python extension. You might use a different editor, but this is the one that I use when I work with, uh, with Python. I, I've used this for other things and I'm quite um, comfortable with, uh, with this one. Uh, but let's take a look at the script. It's not, it's not super long, but let's just try to break it down together. I've added a lot of comments so that it is easier to follow what is going on in the different sections. I recommend that you guys check the description link to, to this script is there. It's on the GitHub and then, uh, you know, you'll find everything that you need there to be able to, to follow along. And what we're going to do is it's going to output a CSV, which we will use later. And this together becomes the, the transformations we did in the previous episode with, with this CSV file becomes the data model that we're going to use in Power BI at a, um, in the next episode. Um, the first part that I've commented out here is just uh, the installation commands for these different packages. Um, you'll do that down here in your terminal. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again, but we have pandas, NLTK. Um, this is where the sentiment analysis part comes in. These are more SQL based stuff. We want to connect to a, uh, to a uh, database. And, and this is also another one, which I think is useful to just have. So we start by importing some stuff that we need to use. And then we're going to, to, to apply that with some different uh, function. We download a part from the sentiment analysis uh, package from NLTK. And again, we'll apply that when we go further down. So the, the first part that is important to just notice here is that we're creating a data frame with a SQL statement. So we're defining attributes to be able to connect to the database instance that we have. And then we are saying, give us these columns. And notice in this statement, I haven't done any transformations. I'm just saying, give me the columns. 
um, and that's going to go into the date frame and then we close the connection i like i said i've tried to you know add these comments it should be fairly straightforward um with with, uh, with these comments what is going on especially in this part so that's the first part then we're gonna get that into a date frame so this is the return this is the name of the function that we defined and that goes in here customer reviews under customer underscore reviews underscore df for date frame fetch that data from the sql database as i've said here now again if sentiment analysis is a little bit new for you we are trying to determine if what is written here is positive or negative that's the only thing we're trying to do and then you can see that what we're going to do is that we're going to use a function here to to kind of determine what is the grade of positivity or or negativity in the text written so you can see here that it's going to return a uh, a score between minus one which is most negative and one which is most positive um, so this is also another function so what we're doing we're just creating some functions now in the beginning and then we will apply that to some of the the data so you can see here same thing a uh, function to categorize sentiment using both the score that we get from this part and the review rating which is this column right here so i'm trying to figure out i'm trying to create like a a combination which says you know there's a positive sentiment score and the rating is is positive then it's a high rating and positive sentiment that goes as positive we have uh, you know neutral rating with positive comments mixed positive mixed negative negative mixed negative mixed positive et, um, etc there's there's a lot of different combinations here i was just trying to see if i can make the analysis based on based on both the rating and the text what it says in case there are a little bit of mixed signals just to see that and this is one way where you can add a little bit of enrichment to the data using Python um, to, to make it maybe a little bit more detailed. And that's, that's often what you do when you do stuff in Python. Like there, there's so many different libraries, there's so many different things you can do. Sometimes it's just something to one column or to a couple columns to, to pull out a category or, or, or something else. Um, but that is the, the, the example right now. So there's a, there's a function for that. And then I've also tried to um, create a bucket. So what's going to happen is that this is going to give us a, a score, minus one to one. This is going to give us a category, a column which categorizes this. We'll take a look at this soon. It'll be easier then, but just try, try and follow me. And this is going to take the score, the score that this is going to output. This is going to take that and then... Uh, only based on the sentiment determine if it was a positive um you know strongly positive mildly positive mildly negative strongly negative sentiment it's, it's only based on what is in the text um, and it will create a category out of that which gives us a little bit more you know uh, possibilities to analyze purely the text without taking into consideration the review score um, and the last part it's really just me applying this, these different functions to different columns. So you, yeah, we have the review text where we're getting the sentiment score based on that. We have the, the rating. Um, it's going to use both the rating and the text for, uh, for this one. So this is going to be the sentiment score from there. And then the rating that comes together. And then we have a uh, sentiment bucket, which we're creating on top of the sentiment score, which applies that into different things. We show the first few rows of the data frame. So you'll be able to preview that in this, uh, when you run this script, and then it's going to save the data frame with these new things added into the same folder as you save your Python script. So just to show you guys, I have it here. You can see I have my Python script there, and that is the CSV file, which we will take a look at now. Um, so, you know, there are some parts here that might be new to you. It might be a little bit advanced or feel a little bit, you know, too much in the beginning. Just, just read through it. I really try to section it so it's easier to follow. I, I wouldn't necessarily have all these comments uh, usually. And I hope it makes sense of what it is trying to do. Um, to, to showcase even more, um, 
if we take a look at the result here, we have the review ID, customer ID, product ID, review date, rating, review text. That is the table before. And this is how it comes out in the CSV. So now you can see, let me zoom in for you guys. We have the same columns, but these ones, let me mark them off. These ones are new. Sentiment score, sentiment category, sentiment bucket. That is what is being generated based on these ones. They are being added to the frame and then we, we output that frame. So just to, again, really explain, we're trying to look at this text. We're trying to give it a sentiment score. That is the actual sentiment part. You can see great purchase, very satisfied, uh, more towards 0 0.1. Um, let's find a negative one. Average experience, nothing special. It's a little bit, little bit uh, downwards. You can see this one, a decent rating, um, good quality, but could be cheaper, mixed positive. Um, so you can see this is the actual score that comes out of the sentiment function, which ranges between minus one and one. One is positive or very positive, minus one is on the negative side. This is the category that we created by looking at the score and the rating together to try and see, you know, are there some, some mixed here? So you can see we have a, a low sentiment score, average experience, nothing special, but still, you know, it's, it's a three, it's above average in terms of, of rating. So it's, it's a mixed negative or that's what it comes out of us here. Um, top quality, uh, the quality is top notch. Um, five, it's a, you know, it's positive. Um, you can play around a little bit with the categories that you create, what kind of settings you set, set here and, and see how it changes the output. If you want to, you, that's totally fine. Um, and the last one, uh, last column is just a bucket that we created just to see, um, you know, do they fall in between different, um, let's call it range buckets, which is what I've created here. And when we take this into the data model in Power BI, we combine it with the other data, and then you'll start to see a little bit of the value of, of adding this and it will become a little bit more uh, apparent. Now you can see that in, in this file, uh, we still have the data quality uh, problem with the double spaces, um, which we, we took care of here. And that is because in the select statement, which happens here, um, there is no transformation, there is no uh, fixing there. So what I'll do is I'm gonna pull this in the next episode into Power BI. We have a data model and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that in Power BI. Um, but for now we have added these columns. I hope it makes sense. I hope it exemplifies a little bit how you can use Python to further the, you know, the analytical um, possibilities. Um, so we'll, we'll come back in the next episode. We'll take this in. We'll take in the tables that we worked on in the different queries. Uh, you know, the ones that we have here, customer journey, customer reviews, customers, engagement data, geography products. We'll take the result of those uh, SQL queries into Power BI and we'll get one common data model. And then we'll start to work on the dashboards and the different parts. That's it for our episode on enriching marketing data with sentiment analysis using Python. In the next video, we're gonna take all the transformations, all the work that we've done on the data and pull it into Power BI to create a interactive report and dashboards, showcasing the insights we've gained from both the enrichments and the transformations that we've done so far. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates on this series. If you have any questions or thoughts, then leave those in the comments and I will get back to you guys there. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.